Hello and good morning. <laughs> Hello and good morning. It's another get ready with me. I feel like then there should be like an intro like do 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 do. I don't have an intro song. Okay. <laughs> it's uh what time is it? It's 6:40. So I'm just uh waking up still. I haven't even had a sip of coffee. Let me do that first. Priming, oops, same as usual. I'm gonna start with my Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer, which is almost out. And just put this in my T-zone. And then I'm gonna take my Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. And put this all over my face. I can never like put primer on in a like elegant way no matter how like delicate I think I'm being I'm always like just absolutely demolishing my face <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the my the my <laughs> the L'Oreal uh, true match lumi glotion I have the shade 901 fair glow which is also almost out and then just put this everywhere for foundation, I'm going to use, did I use this last time? I might have. And I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I use the shade F1. And then just <laughs> obviously blend it in. This is such a good shade match for me. Mostly my neck. The dedication of the construction people across the street is honestly mind-blowing. There's, It's literally like snowstorm outside before 7 a.m. And they're on it. I don't know how you can do construction when it's so cold and snowy. But their trucks say excavation. But I don't, I, I just don't know. Some building owner once their work done really bad i guess okay so brow time spoolie <laughs> spoolie and soap and i'm just gonna brush the soap through my brows as always um while my brows are setting i'm going to take my nars smudge proof eyeshadow base and prime my eyes and then i'm gonna take my concealer today i'm gonna use maybelline fit me I'm just going to put that on the inner part of my eyes and blend it out just to <laughs> get rid of the immense darkness that's there right now. And then I'm going to take my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. Brow Tint Pen. I have the shade Auburn <laughs> and just fill my brows in. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the BH Avocado Toast Palette. I'm just running through these BH palettes. This is a beautiful, like, green neutral palette. I'm going to use some of the greens today. <laughs> and I'm a little bit, I'm excited and scared. <laughs> I'm taking a risk. Now, typically, when I look at this palette, I would, and immediately, because there are so many mid-toned shades, and if I'm not going to take this brown called Pit and use that as a deepening shade then I'd grab for another palette to act as like a darker matte to deepen the look up but I've been wanting to I've been watching a lot of makeup Missa recently and she is like the queen of working from like dark to light and I know that a lot of people swear by that it's always something that scared me I genuinely don't know how people do it um, because working like light to dark has always worked well for me and I don't have any issues with it but I think that it would serve me to sometimes just like go in with a black and use that as like a deepening shade and then blend out from there particularly in palettes that don't have a lot of depth that I would typically like grab for in my personal makeup life, it doesn't really bother me at all. Couldn't give less of a shit if I have to pull in another palette. 
but sometimes for like three looks one palette videos or like pal videos where I just want to like focus on one palette and sometimes it's kind of bizarre when you say it out loud but sometimes it feels like you're cheating to like pull in another palette um I don't know I think it would be like good to have that technique under my belt just so that I don't feel the need to reach for other palettes, you know? Anyway, this is kind of just like my rambling thoughts. Long fucking story short, I'm gonna take the shade Holy Moly. Not sure how this relates to avocados, but sure. <laughs> it's a black, oh my god, I'm like, I'm fucking pressed, I'm scared, okay. And I'm going to, okay, I need to calm down, make my eyes not water, and I'm basically, going to, I'm going to start by pressing this in my outer corner, focusing it mainly, bringing it, focusing it there mainly, and then bringing it into the crease, kind of like, we'll see how it goes, but, um, let me just bring my little mirror out, I, yeah, you can't even see that anyway, and, um, just seeing, like, I don't know, it's kind of fun also to, like, try new techniques and what have you. And I feel like less stressed and get ready with me is to like have looks that turn out really super amazing. If something bad goes down, you know? Okay, I feel like I've already brought that too high, but whatever. Especially people who work over like really tacky bases and do this, like you guys are blending wizards because I don't know how you do it. Okay, so I, <laughs> I guess I'm bringing this through my entire crease. My plan is also to like place this down and then not necessarily like blend it out, but kind of like blend over the top, you know? Mm, maybe I'll use a smaller blending brush. LOL. I still use these like hella old <laughs> Urban Decay brushes from the Naked palettes. I don't know, they still work. And then I'm gonna take the shade Superfood, which is this olivey green. I couldn't not use this. And then how am I gonna approach this? I think I'm gonna go like over this black a little bit as well. And then Blend it out. Oh god, okay, hold on. Wait, why am I doing this? I always do it step by step. Okay. <laughs> I was so scared to try to blend this sh black shade out that I, okay. So I'm gonna do the same step on the other eye. I literally never do one eye at a time. So I'm losing my full mar marble over here. Okay, so we're going to be stuck with the sultry sounds of trucks today, but we're going to have to just deal with it, um, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so this has actually provided me with a great deal of insight, and I'll share that insight with you maybe while I do something productive. I'm going to take this shade Avo Toast, this lighter green here, and I'm just going to use that to like blend my crease out further. Um, so, you know what, honestly, it wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be, but I also think that I could get the exact same effect if I just took a black um, and deepened my crease up with that. Like, I don't, I don't think it looks bad, and I honestly think it pretty much looks exactly the same as it would look if I worked from light to dark, which is good, honestly, for me to know. And it gives me a little bit more confidence in my blending skills, but I pretty, I mean, I didn't do anything crazy. I just basically went over where I put the black and I went over that with the shade Superfood and then blended it out. Maybe I'll do this more just to kind of play around and see if I like it, but I still think I'm gonna, I still think light to dark is just like kind of my preferred method of working. I would love to know if you guys like to work light to dark or dark to light with your 
shadows? Do you like to stamp them down and then blend them out? Like, how do you guys like to do that? I'm, it's always so interesting to me because I feel like a lot of people are like very adamant that like I only work light to dark or dark to light like I don't feel like shadows work for me otherwise or vice versa I'm just curious but I'm happy that it worked out this way because I'm very happy with this crease okay so for my lid <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Spicy in the center and Hoss in the front part. I was like, maybe I shouldn't take the like grungy olive tone shimmers, but I don't care. I'm going to. <laughs> I don't care if I do this, if I use those tones all the time. It's what I love. Am I totally in the side? I am. It's almost as if propping a mirror up on your ring light behind your camera makes it difficult for you to see anything that's happening. <laughs> First though, I'm going to take my next glitter primer and put this on my lid where I want the shimmers to go. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Spicy. This almost looks like it's more of a brown with a green undertone, I want to say. I love it though, it's so pretty. Although it doesn't have the same degree of like super sparkle that other B8 shadows have, although it is a good amount of sparkly. And then I'm gonna take Haas, which is that lighter olive green. Oh, that spicy shade is so pretty. I guess in the spirit of working dark to light, I'm going to do the same thing now. So I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Holy Moly, which was the black, and just use this to keep the depth in the front of my crease and also blend these shimmers out so there's not like a harsh line. But I'm trying to keep it pretty light, like I'm, I don't want to go in with like a ton of black. And then I'm going to also deepen up my outer corner. And then I'm going to take the shade Superfood and then just blend that black out again a little bit more. And then I'm also going to go over my outer corners a little bit with the shade Superfood just to kind of not lighten it, but make sure it kind of looks more like a green. A dark green than like just a straight black. Then I'm gonna go back into the shade Avo Toast one last time and just again blend this over the edge. And that my friends is a beautiful green smoky eye. I'm gonna take the shades Spicy and Haas. Spicy feels a little bit drier on my fingers and intensify them on my lid. And then I'm going to take, okay, I'll leave it there. And I think that's pretty much where I'm going to leave my eyelids for now. So let's zoom out a little bit and finish up my face. So I'm going to, like I said before, take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then I'm going to take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Today I remember the name and conceal as best I can anything else that needs to be concealed. Now I'm going to take my KVD Liquid Gel Contour. I use the shade Fair Cool in Contour. We've been watching Money Heist as our like show that we're watching right now and it is literally killing me. It's killing my soul and just every day I'm on a roller coaster of emotions. Have you watched it? I'm not going to give any spoilers because that's just a shitty fucking thing to do, but wow. We're on, I can't remember, we're kind of like in the middle right now. S 
but it's like it's stressful it's not even like I have to like steal myself every time we start watching it which is why I am always reminded that I don't <laughs> like watching dramas I do because my girlfriend forces me but like if I have it my way especially during COVID like these past couple years absolutely I'm either watching a sh stupid, mindless reality TV show, mostly Housewives, I love Housewives, or like any stupid reality TV show or competition show or anything like that. I've been watching Glow Up, but I, I haven't finished the third season yet. Um, or just like anything like that, something that doesn't have like high emotional stakes <laughs> for me. Or like a comedy or something. But holy shit. Although I have realized that I think I, although I have realized that I enjoy watching subtitled shows so much. It's something about like I you have to focus on the subtitles and you have to just watch the show like there's no temptation of like going on your phone or doing something else while you watch. And in a way that's like kind of super calming to me. It's not like new. Like I've watched subtitle shows in the past and all that stuff. Some people really don't like it, but especially recently I found it just so, so nice. Like watching subtitled shows and watching makeups, watching videos, it's like perfect combination for anxiety calming. By the way, now I'm just using my Danessa Myricks Cream Bronzer in Light. And I'm actually gonna take a little bit of uh, liquid highlighter as well before I use powder. I'm gonna take the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. This is in the shade of Morning Light. Yeah. And I'm just gonna dot this a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones. And for whatever reason, I find that I like a sponge with this product the best. And then I'm just gonna put this, and then I'm just gonna blend this out. Where was I gonna say I was gonna put it? <laughs> I put it on my cheekbones already. Oops, that's far, far too much, but okay. This is why I don't like doing things. Why would I even do that? It's actually one of like a weird pet peeve of mine to see people put product directly on their face. So why would I do that? I don't know. But anyway, here we are. Here we fucking are. All right, now it's powder time, so I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, as usual. And then I'm just going to put this in all of my usual loose powder places. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and just brush this away. Oh my god, okay, I for totally forgot to put that on my cheekbones. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. So let me just do that. And I'm going to set my entire face using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And then I'm going to go over everything again with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Okay, so for my lower lash... For my lower lash line, I'm just going to do what I normally do. I'm going to take Superfood and just blend this all underneath my eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Holy Moly, which was just the black, and deepen my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Avo Toast and blend everything out. And then I actually think I'm going to take Holy Moly one more time and just deepen my outer corners just so that like just the same way that I would if I hadn't used a black um like initially just because I want to 
make sure that there's no patchiness and like that the depth is still right out there. And then finally, I'm going to take the shade Avo Cuddle. Oh my god. I'm going to spray that and I'm going to put that in my inner corners. And then I'm going to put this. Okay, my camera all cut off again. If it didn't show, I just put the shade Avo Cuddle which is this lightest, like, champagne-y shade on my inner corners and my brow bone, nothing exciting. Bronzer, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Look at this pan. Whoa. It's like every week you get an update. <laughs> I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist and spray my face. For highlighter, I'm going to take one that I haven't used in a while. I'm going to use the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild in the shade Golden Flower Crown. Entirely too deep for me. Far, far too deep for me. But I find that if I use a light hand, um, I can get away with this. On my cheekbones, at least. And that's why I also put down the like liquid highlighter. I find that it just lightens up any highlighter that I put over top of it a little bit more. I'm lightly going to dust that on my forehead, but I will use, let's just take ColourPop Flexitarian on my nose and my cupid's bow. Okay, for blush, I had an absolutely genius brainwave, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> I'm going to take the shade Carnival from the Likely Makeup Clown Blush Palette and the Burt's Bees Blush in Toasted Cinnamon, which is like a brown. I'm going to mix them and hopefully create like a mustard blush. So it's in between like that yellow and this brown. <gasps> Don't be too intimidated by my genius. Well, I'm absolutely in love with that. It does mostly look yellow, but it just deepens it just like a touch so it's not so bright yellow on your face and then finally I'm gonna take this Maybelline brow fast sculpt gel mascara I have the shade soft brown I'm just gonna run this the wand is weird it has like one flat side and one spoolie side I'm just gonna use the spoolie side anyway I'm just gonna run this through my brows and then I'm gonna take freck these freckles are bad. This is a bad, but that's okay. Whatever. It's too late, so we gotta live with it. And then finally, I'm gonna just take a little bit more Flexitarian, because I have it here, and just put this right on the tops of my cheekbones, just because the highlighter is a little bit too dark for me, so I find that this just helps. Helps. Just helps. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do, she says. Okay, <laughs> but I'm gonna just finish up my face and then be back to conclude. All right, and this is the conclusion of the video, my final form, if you will. Yes, I'm still wearing my old flannel that I wore, well, in the last video, but anyway. I've decided that I'm not getting dressed up anymore <laughs> for my videos. We're keeping it real. We're keeping it all the way real here. Okay, let's just conclude. So on my lips, I used the, oh, I put it away, with a little bit of Makeup Forever Endless Cacao in the center, and then I used this tiny little melt matte lipstick in the shade 710, because it's the most beautiful mustard shade ever. And yeah, and I put a bronze in my waterline. It's ColourPop Overboard. I really love green and like putting brown to my waterline. A big fan. What a, I'm pleasantly surprised by how this look came out and how easy this experience was in using a black first. I've been thinking about doing it, like I've been wanting to try it for so long and I was like, let's just, you know, do it today, let's leap in. I would be interested in continuing um, and like playing with that technique a little bit more because 
It wasn't as difficult as I imagined it was going to be, although I don't know that the effect is any different than if I would just like go in with a black all through my crease. You know what I mean? But all's well that ends well. I hope you guys have a great week considering I'll probably post this on Monday as I have been doing. Let me know if you've been enjoying these get ready with me's because I've been enjoying these get ready with me's. I hope you have a great day, a great week, and thank you so much for watching this video and I would love to see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.